All right, I picked up something that I want to show you guys, especially for those that are Traveler fans. I saw on Reddit where someone bought the Traveler 5th Edition dice from Far Future's website, Mark Miller, and it, they look great, and I wanted to pick them up, so I ordered some. And they also received this as well. Now, not, now I've got to say, this doesn't mean that everybody will receive what I've gotten, okay? I know that, obviously, Mr. Miller uh, kind of does what he wants and puts stuff in different packaging or gives you certain things that kind of come along with it extra, but I just want to show you what I got. And maybe if you order it, maybe you'll get something that's similar, okay? So it's normally supposed to be 13 dice. They're 18 millimeter. And you're supposed to get 10 black, 1 red, and 2 white. D6s, which of course I can use for my pocket space game or any other D6 type game. So I was very pleased to see that I actually got one of the Imperial X Mail um, mailers here with the for, uh, Free Trader Beowulf cover. Just really neat here. I mean, he, just going outside what he had to do to send stuff out to people. Local deliveries under contract from the Imperial Interstellar Scout Service. You got the cool coin here. Um, it's just really neat. You got the little, you know, local station here. I was very impressed. So inside was some promotional materials for uh, some of the CD-ROMs. Very neat. And then some of the cool coins that are available. And I'd actually like to get this new free, uh, free Trader Beowulf coin. It just looks awesome. And uh, as well as this book that he has written as well. So I'll put those aside. We're going to take a look at the dice. So there they go. But if you look, you'll see that there are 16 dice. So I'm not sure if this happens every time. The other person on Reddit also got 16 dice. There are some that are white that have a green sun symbol on them. Uh, there's yellow ones as well. But I'm very happy to have gotten the uh, black ones, three red and three white with red symbols on them. So very, very cool. Nice chunky die. Uh, I usually don't like big dice, but honestly, there I played a game the other day that had some big dice, and I really enjoyed the feel of it. These are, uh, you know, deeply engraved, engraved down here. Uh, they just look fantastic, and of course, they're going to look great for um, pocket space as well, and of course, uh, Classic Traveler. So just a great little package, but it also came with these T card, a uh, T card deck, and it says bonus T card decks are prompts. Cards with ideas, images, and re reminders that help the player players in their adventures. Now, while this is for uh, Traveler 5th Edition, I haven't even looked through these yet. I just kind of did the top. Uh, let's take a look together and see what I got. Let's just take this all off here. So, needless to say, I was extremely happy to see that I had gotten these cards as well. So, I know some people have gotten them too. So, let's go through them and let's take a look. If I can not botch this. So I've never actually looked through these at all. So there's the back. Very nice. Normal kind of playing card size. I guess this is kind of like one of the, the map worlds here. Um, showing you the different type of star systems. And the maps that you've got there. Oh, neat. So a cool card that's got the spin word main system in it. So Donnie trailing main. Some this is just awesome. So I'm going to be kind of geeking out here seeing the different uh, planets, like their maps with the capital, different planets. This is something I'd love to be able to do for pocket space. So it gives you a little bit of information about the different planets with some art. Just great inspirations to grab for your mission, for your game. Here's typical military. And of course, again, this is going to be with stuff that's set up for Traveler 5th Edition. But still, you could still show it to people to show what the gun looks like if you're not using the stats. But very neat to show off the different weapons. As you can see, staple gun. And he, you know, he didn't have to add these to that. I was, this is just all, all just extra awesomeness there. Different types of uh, carbines, battle rifles. And you can show your players, this is what the gun looks like. Officer's Cutlass. There's a ship there, Imperial Combat Knife, Detached Duty Scout. I like it how it's floating in the water. Uh, that's awesome. Forcer, Type L Lab Ship, The Fat Trader. Of course, love that. Starburst for Extreme Heroism. This is just neat. I am very jazzed that he added this to my 
my order. Like I said, he did not have to do that. Some range cards there. I do have the PDFs of Traveler 5th Edition, and boy, it is an incredibly dense game. But uh, some neat things here. Some really cool things to add. Some missiles to help your game, especially if you play Traveler 5th Edition. So there it is. Just wanted to show you exactly what I got. If you order it, you may or may not get the same thing or something different with the dice. I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to show that Mark Miller is just awesome dude. Uh, went above and beyond anything I could, uh, I would hope so, hope for when ordering something. Uh, it came relatively quick, painless. Uh, they were 15 bucks, five dollars for shipping, and I got this other cool cards. And I'm gonna keep this mailer because it just is awesome. So I may have to actually buy some more. So there it is, the uh, the dice from Far Futures website. And uh, yeah, if you get some, let me know what you got. Thanks.